Checking out art in their old backyard. Look out, they're driving hard. Checking out the world in their own backyard. Checking out the world in their own backyard. Our time crunch might best be described this way. Rudy Rodder's waiting for us, and Rudy's museum in Manitowoc takes some time to examine. That's because Rudy, trained first in dentistry and zoology, has gone on to fill three whole floors of this old factory with pieces of art that he's drawn, carved, twisted, and beaten into being. I started out with the use of clay and plaster, completely self-taught. I had done dissection in the dental school and I uh, restudied anatomy. Then I started uh, with, with clay, because with clay you can add, you can take away, you can change your mind. That's a portrait of myself. Unfortunately, there's been a change. And then after about five, six years, I took up a hammer and a chisel and I started carving. And at first I carved with local stone. Then I went into uh, buying Italian alabaster like this pieces. Carrara marble, which comes from the same uh, mountain in Italy that Michelangelo's carvings came from. And so I carved all different types of stones and, and woods and teak woods. I'm a big family man, as you can see, there are thousands of family, ma, pa, and the kids, as we used to say. I work FBS, fast but sloppy. And I, I don't... Just like Don. <laughs> I, I, oh, boom. Sorry. Oh. This is an old barn beam. Yeah. See? So I took that. Sometime I'll sit down here and I'll say to myself, Rodder, how in the hell did you ever drag all this stuff and chop it? it took me uh, a number of years just to leave the chisel marks in, but I think that uh, there's such a strength and beauty to the marks of yeah. the chisels. But it's kind of a departure than when you get to things like this. Right? Yes. As time went on, my joints wore out. That's what my surgeon, the physician, said. Years of shot putting, discus throwing football, uh, 50 years of practicing dentistry, uh, 45 years of hammer and chisel. So I was at a loss at first, and then I started looking for different things, and I came upon the trophy industry. And I became enamored with this. These are all trophies, and I take them and, and uh, cut pieces of wood, mm. put these, these different colors to reflect the light. See, something like this, for instance, is just a straight piece of metal, excess metal. And I nailed it down here, then I take and start twisting oh, it. Okay, so and it's the activity of the twisting that turns into these beautiful little things like this. I did a whole series of these called Ancient Egypt. And, and this is the ancient uh, Chinese temples. I call these all variations on a theme. Rudy, I'm looking around this room and I am seeing, I don't know, I couldn't even begin to count how many pieces. Oh, well, where did you find the time? This was my hunting, this was my fishing, this was my card playing, except for a little bridge. I used to play a little bridge. This is a jello mold, and if you look, you'll see this little outer space critter. Mm -hmm. And these are from what again? Foundry patterns, all these red things. You hate to waste anything, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. See, these, for instance, are old hospital charts. <laughs> One thing leads to another. Yeah, yeah. That's the fun of it. This is all research, constant experimentation, and constant finding different things. So can you estimate how many pieces you've done? Over 16,000, and that's without the drawings. My philosophy has been that the act of finding and creating peace is more enjoyable than the finished product. And so, when I get done with one, I go on to the other one. Get done with that, go on to the next one until I poop out, so to speak. I noticed that so many of the bases say happy. The, the reason for that happy is when I got to be 80 years old, I was happy that I was still alive because my parents had died at 62, and I was happy to be able to do this 
So I signed everything now, happy. This whole thing has been a kind of a love thing for me. And I still love it and enjoy it. Oh, you're here too. How are my teeth looking? While I'm here, I thought maybe you could, uh, they uh, looking okay? Yeah, your gums, you could use a little massage. A little massage see. on the gums, yeah. 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 But the real thing is, Don is missing a dental appointment Today, today is all well come right into my workshop <laughs> now at 88 Rudy figures he's added 15 years to his life expectancy by doing all this and we hope he gets 15 more